Grant, named as assistant manager of Peterborough United Football Club, um, working alongside Dave Robertson. You've been doing it for obviously 14 games last season, but to have that um, authority in, in terms of moving forward must be great for you. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the challenge ahead. Um, you know, first and foremost, I want to thank the chairman for giving us this chance, myself and Robbo. Um, you know, uh, we've been working really hard now for the past three or four months, um, and it's nice to for the challenge ahead next season to, to have a start afresh really and, get, and carry on in pre-season hopefully have a really good season. Yeah, I think everyone who's seen the team play in those last 14 games knows you want to attack, you want to score goals and um, that's the philosophy of the football club and the philosophy of Dave and as a former player you, you know exactly what this club means and what, what the fans want to see. Yeah, everyone wants attacking football, we want to we wanna score a lot of goals um, and that's one thing we'll be definitely doing. Um, anyone knows Robbo, you've seen the youth team um, always seem to score a lot of goals, um, and for me personally, it's it's um, you know I've been involved in those teams over the years, and, and I know what it takes to to score a lot of goals and, and to, to win games uh, in a positive manner, and that's something that we'll definitely bring to the to the table this year. And that's what the players want, though. They want to enjoy their football. They want to be scoring goals. They don't want to be too bogged down in in structures. They want to they want to go out and enjoy their football. Yeah, you have to enjoy it, and first and foremost, you've got to enjoy the game. And if you don't, then you're in the wrong business. Um, that's that's definitely what you know. The players will will enjoy everything they do with us. They have done since since we've come in. We've changed everything. The training, um, you know, that's definitely one thing we'll do in pre-season as well. we'll they'll they'll really enjoy it. There'll be a real winning mentality in terms of the training. Everything will be focused on winning. And if we can be, we can do that by producing um, producing the goods and producing the goals on the Saturday, then that's what we're looking to do. And your role on the training field, obviously working alongside Dave, is to to make sure that the, uh, as you say, the training's fun, but it's obviously got the um, the desired effect for the for the Saturday match day, and, and that's how you've been working alongside Robbo so far. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're we're both winners. That's that's the bottom line. We're both winners. Um, you know, th well through my career, I've won things, and I want to try and implement them into the players now. That it's it, it is about winning. Um, you don't want to go through your career not having won anything. Um, and that's one thing we will definitely be introducing to the players in pre-season for next season. They're ready to go on a on a promotion uh, push next season, and hopefully we can do that. When you look around that dressing room, there's a lot of talent in there. There is. We've got you know like we've got three players coming back from injury. Who who well, John Taylor played a bit, but it's massive for him to have have a, a good pre-season for him to be fit next year. We've got Jermaine Anderson coming back, who was you know started the season really well, and picked up a nasty toe injury, and then we've got Jack Baldwin who. Everybody knows Jack's a superb player, so to have them three coming back and um, hopefully adding one or two more, we'll, we'll have a real chance. Yeah, it's belief more than anything, isn't it, installing it in the players? Because as you say, the ability-wise, it's there, isn't it? I mean, everyone can see that they're, they, you know, they've shown at times last season that they can really mix it at the top end of the table, and that's what you want to continue for next season. Yeah, it's, it's the ability and the consistency for them. Um, that's one thing they need to learn. I think they'll, they'll have that better next year because they've had a year, they're, they're a young squad, um, They'll have that better next year of, of what their experiences were of this year um, and I think they'll be a lot better next year. Well, I know they will, um, especially with the three boys coming back from injury and, and the, the two or three players that we might add, that will definitely help them. And for you personally, obviously, making that transition from playing to coaching seems to have been quite a seamless one. Yeah, it's been good really. Um, you know, I had been doing a bit of coaching with, with Robbo, obviously, with the youth team before that and before that with the 15s and 16s, so it's, it's, it's a nice transition for me. Um, you know the players have taken to me really well, um, which is good. Sometimes it's difficult when you move from a player to to the coaching side of it. But you know, with the help of, of Robbo and, and the staff around us, it's it's made the it's made the transition really easy for me. And um, I just can't wait to get started now. Yeah, your best place to, to know exactly how Robbo works, and you've seen firsthand how much work he puts into making things how he wants it to be. And and, and talking to talking to him earlier on, you, you know that he's a winner, and that's what you want as a as a coach to work alongside someone like that. Definitely, um, that that's the thing. I'm a winner myself. I always have been in my career, um, and and to work with someone like Robbo, it's you know it's going to be great. Um, the players know that already. You know, I've seen coach from Michael Boss weeks in, he was a winner as well. And so the players know what Robbo's about, um, and they know what I'm about. So that's that's the main thing. Um, we try to implement in the 14 games, which we've done. But next next season is going to be a massive massive for us. Like I say, with people coming back from injury, it's going to be a fresh start for a lot of players who maybe weren't involved on the last last managers at the club. So everyone's going to have a clean slate, and we'll we'll give it a right go next year. And obviously, you've got a great relationship with the fans anyway. What would your message to them be? Um, just you know, stick by us and stick by the players mainly. Um, you know, the players are here. They'll they'll, they'll give everything for this club. We'll make sure that that every Saturday they wear their heart in their sleeves for this place because. That's what the fans here expect every week of you. Um, 
and I've got no doubt about it that we'll definitely get that out of the players next year.